This video will show how to analyze SQL Server instance memory usage issues with the use of the DB Plus Performance Monitor. The Memory module gives us memory usage reports. Let's check the usage for the first time span between the 1st of February and the 20th of April, grouped by hour. The upper graph shows that the SQL Server instance is using the assigned RAM memory in full. Two basic memory areas of an SQL Server are Procedure Cache and Buffer Cache. The Procedure Cache is used by the SQL Server to store information about system statistics, execution plans, and query structure. The buffer cache is used by the SQL Server to store information about tables and indexes. The most disconcerting is the fact that the usage of the buffer cache is unstable, and a memory flush is evident. The usage of the buffer cache can drop from 150 gigabytes to 60 or even 55 gigabytes. It needs to be reminded that from the Windows Processes point of view, the Task Manager will show that the SQL Server uses 180 gigabytes of RAM. Let's see how this affects other performance indicators. We use the Load Trends tab to do this. First, let's focus on reads from disk devices. Statistics is presented in grouping by days. We can see that data reads from disk devices are from 250 gigabytes to 750 gigabytes per day. The memory usage problems relate to certain SQL Server versions, where database engine reacts inappropriately to messages from the operating system and, in the case of high usage of Windows memory, sends a message with a memory release request. The SQL Server does this by using the memory flush in the buffer cache area, which results in worse performance of queries running on the instance. Updating the SQL Server with a required patch solved this problem. Let's check how the patch affected the performance. Let's go back to the memory screen and add another month to the analysis. We can see that nothing negative is happening with the SQL Server memory. In the case of the buffer cache area, we can see that memory flushes occurred before the patch, and after applying the update, the buffer cache is working on a nearly stable level. Let's see how this affected the performance indicators. Let's go back to the Load Trend screen and add a new month to the analysis. We can see an improvement. Duration of the queries visibly decreased. Let's check the drive reads. We can see that before the patch, reads reached nearly 700 gigabytes per day, and after the update, they don't exceed 250 gigabytes. Apart from reads reduction, we can observe an improvement in the form of decrease of wait times for locks. The problem has been solved. DB Plus. Better performance.